So you introduced the new stern drive engine. Uh, last night, you showed us a little bit more today. Can you tell us about what's different about this compared to what else is out there in the market and what you've been building previously? Well, as you said, it's a new four and a half liter V6, uh, 250 horsepower uh, stern drive. Um, replaces our existing five liter V8. Has greater performance, but is much lighter, 130 pounds lighter uh, than the prior engine. We're introducing it, as you said, this year. One of the great things about this engine is first time for a while that Mercury has had full design control of the whole engine, including the uh, long block of the engine. So we've really been able to design the whole thing with uh, marine operation in mind. From thinking about marine cycle fuel economy to applying materials that work really well in the marine environment, work well against corrosion, uh, for example, to how we place uh, features on the engine, for example, uh, for this new stern drive, we placed all the maintenance points well forward on the engine in a single, what we call maintenance bar. So the the uh, user wanting to perform maintenance never has to go past the front side of the engine. We've also raised up on the engine any components that might be sensitive to bilge water, for example. So you know, having full design control of the engine gives you uh, an opportunity to do some of the things that we've done for a long time on outboard, but we've always had that design control, but have been more limiting for us, uh, you know, constrained on stern drive because we have, uh, uh, up until recently, been using uh, third-party automotive uh, long locks. A lot of features for noise and vibration as well that work uh, really well for us. One of the things we've wanted to do for a long time is uh, turn the throttle body uh, to the rear of the engine, facing away from the operator ear, so that quietens down the engine and adds to that overall kind of refined feel of the product. That's something you, uh, it's more difficult to do on an automotive based engine, but we could now introduce. So we'll be assembling uh, this new engine in-house fully, including the long block. Uh, we've introduced a um, brand new assembly line with all of the latest quality control features. Uh, so we're very confident that the engine will not only perform very well, but will be built to the highest possible levels of quality. Uh, controlling the whole engine also allows us to control what technologies that we apply, uh, that we think are important for marine and to leave out some technologies that we think uh, may be in other engines but are only of value in the automotive environment and not in the marine environment. Finally, it allows us to pace the, the uh, cadence of development of the engine. So if we see particular applications where we need to modify or add new variants, we can do that in a very straightforward way now. The whole thing is really completely under our control, as it has been, uh, and we've enjoyed that situation on outboard uh, for a long time. So, kind of a new era for Mercury, having the same level of design control on, uh, on our cruise product as we have done historically on outboard.